keep my keep pose you keep my keep when it's pose you my keep keep my keep when it's pose you my keep keep my keep pose you when it's pose you go for it okay cut <laughs> all right so uh been having a little bit of a mental block on what to do and one of the things i was thinking about um in my real estate class uh, I was talking with some people on kind of the different people you need to know for the transaction process. And one of the interesting things I found out was most people don't actually have a uh, Rolodex of people that they need for the real estate transactions. So for instance, when you're selling a home, a lot of people, you might need a maid service to clean out the entire place. Uh, you might need a handyman to fix anything that would be on a potential binzer. You need a painter to repaint the walls if you have that, you know, god awful green wall and you want to make it gray so that it's more friendly for everybody. Uh, so it was a really interesting thing to think about. And the part I'm struggling with is how do you get this information to people? So, for instance, you, okay, so I know a lot of these people in these different parts. How do I get this information to somebody so that it's it's worthwhile for them and they're able to... You all right? No, I'm tired. I can't stand. <laughs> you're making me stand. You didn't have to stand. Well, I didn't realize I was standing. Now I'm okay. Go ahead. Go back to... <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm going. It's still rolling. Okay. Can you still see me? Yeah. All right. So I realized that, you know, I have all this information, whereas... A lot of people might not have it. And how do I get that information to people, which is both one, friendly, and two, useful? Um, I can put information all day, but uh, I mean, you have Angie's List, you have all these different things. Why would you want something credible from me? Um, especially a stranger who doesn't know me. So, would love to get your thoughts on that. Um, and see what you guys think on is it worthwhile to actually create something, create a list like this to, to give to people. Now, it's going to be based on my preference and people I've worked with, but these are people that I trust and that I do business with because they're outstanding businessmen, they're kind people, and they get the job done. Uh, so, let me know your thoughts. Last thing, I realized nobody actually watches to the end of these videos. So if you actually did watch the end of this video, uh, send me an email and say, I watched the end of the video and I will give you a free, uh, free virtual tour, no charge, any house under 3,000 square feet. So if you actually watch the end of this, you'll get a free 3D tour. All right, talk to you guys later. And just to be clear, that free 3D tour is the first five customers. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, keep up to date with all the awesome videos I'll be having. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next video.